Invasive species are considered to be highly problematic for California. It has been estimated that invaders cost the state approximately $3 billion per annum. We have specialists who work in areas of integrated pest management, biological control. We have scientists who work on the genetics of these invasive species and together we look at developing novel control and management strategies for these invaders that threaten California. Here at Lynn Cove we have a conference building and we reach out to consumers and, and the grower industry in lots of different ways. My role as an extension specialist is to work with the citrus industry and determine what the problems are and then act in a leadership role to bring in basic researchers from campus and other places, USDA, CDFA, and develop research programs to solve the problems. And those problem solving research might be um, very basic, uh, studying the insect, its life cycle, or it might be something very far reaching where we're inserting genes into a plant in order to resist that particular pest and the disease that it might carry. Recently we had a new exotic pest enter California, probably through Mexico, and it's called the Asian citrus psyllid. But it happens to carry a devastating bacterial disease that we call Huanglong Bing, which is a death sentence for citrus trees. And that particular disease is now found in Florida and Mexico, and it could easily move here as well. So we're massing all the researchers together to come up with solutions nationwide, and I'm doing an extensive education program, again, to help the consumers understand why they need to be protecting their trees against this particular pest. standing on Picnic Hill on the UCR campus, and this is a pretty good example of an, ur an urban forest in, in Southern California. If you look around, you can see that virtually every tree that's, that's on this site is from someplace else in the world. We have trees here from Australia, from South America, from Africa, from Europe. The majority of our work is on the ecology and management of insects in the urban forest and in natural forests. Um, and we've got a number of projects working in that area. And that's, that's the goal we're striving for, is to try and maintain the populations of pests at a very low level with a minimum amount of, of input into the system um, to do, have the environment manage itself rather than us try and manage it. Um, and it works pretty well. Once we have the right natural enemy in, it, it provides an answer to the problem that is permanent. Urban forests have, have lots of value. The trees in urban forests have a lot of value. So when people look at what's, what's the value of the kind of research that's being done and the value of integrated pest management, for just one tree species, we're looking at somewhere in the ballpark of half a billion dollars. We grow, in our desert regions here, we grow a lot of fall-planted broccoli. Uh, so those are planted from end of August into September and October. Uh, this insect is, uh, it hones in on the chemicals that are produced from the broccoli plant. It's called the Bagrata bug. It takes a basically one bite from this insect to kill the plant. It's causing us huge dollar losses in our local desert areas, and we've just now started to work on that particular insect. With dates, we've learned a lot about the biology of the particular insect that's a problem there. It's called the carob moth. The moths, males and female moths, communicate via a pheromone. If we can stop that mating interaction, we can stop the, la the laying of fertile eggs. And basically, we have been able to synthesize the pheromone chemicals. Uh, they are mimics of the original pheromone. We can put those out in the field, and if we can put that pheromone around in enough locations within a date garden, then we inter interfere with the male's ability to find the females. What we try to do in, in economic entomology and field entomology, the kind of work that I do, is, to, uh, is to, to do our best to make those food products as safe as we can, and of course for the environment, to make the environment as safe as it can be. We're trying to put together a holistic approach so we can tell the farmer, okay, here's the best way that you can manage your crop, still make it economically viable for you, but deal with the mitigating the insect problem that we have coming that's, that's bringing these problems to your field.
Researchers affiliated with the Centre for Invasive Species Research have had some success stories against invasive species. Perhaps most notable has been the control program for the glassy winged sharpshooter, a severe pest which vectors a bacteria which is lethal to grapes. Part of my job which I find very exciting is going back to these countries, tracking down the pest and then hunting around looking for the natural enemies that we could bring back to California.